Hi there, I'm Rhonda Lauritsen. I'm the founder and one of the oral historians and authors here at Epilogue.life. I also want to introduce you and mention Rachel Trotter, who joined me early on in this uh, business. She brought decades of experience as a journalist and family historian. So together, we've done literally thousands of interviews and countless client projects. So we've honed the process of interviewing well. And so the purpose of this video is to explain to you how how the process of our professional interviews works. But before I get into the nitty gritty, I just want to say there's so much power in voice. Voice is intimate. It brings someone back like they're right in the room with you. It, it's just there's something about the way that it evokes memory. The way a person tells a story is just as important as the words that they use, the, the, the accent they have, the colloquialisms. It's just a, a person's own telling of their story is an incredible, priceless gift. And we hear from people who have either hired us to do it and say, having you interview my mom or dad or, or someone they love, it was one of the best things I ever did. And we also hear from people who have this sting of regret and they say, I wish I'd done it while I still had time. And the thing about interviews is it's affordable, it's easy, it's enjoyable, it's the most simple way of getting a life story done. When people ask us how they should do their story, they might be thinking of a huge project or writing a book, and we say, no, just start with interviews. It's easy, it's straightforward, and it's, it's enjoyable. There's a bond that's created between the interviewer and the interviewee. Now, if you want to do it yourself, we have so many resources on our site. So go ahead and browse that. We encourage you to do it yourself if you want. But there are some reasons to hire a professional. A professional can take all of the stress away from you. We handle the technology, so you don't have to monkey with all of that. You don't have to buy any equipment or deal with just all of the technical stuff about an interview. Also, we're good at helping people feel at ease. We know the questions to ask. We're trained in intensive, empathetic listening to draw out the best in a person. And as counterintuitive as it might seem, sometimes having a professional do the interview gets even better stories than if a family member does it. And I think there are a few reasons for this. Sometimes people are just willing to open up a little more to someone who doesn't know them. Also, even if someone is a great storyteller and they've told a lot of stories to their family, having a new audience might help them tell it in a more complete way so they don't assume that you've already heard it a hundred times and skip over details or just having a new audience sort of helps them be on as a storyteller. So trust me, we get great stuff, even though we don't know the person. So now let's shift to how it works. You can purchase a single gift certificate here on our website. It's a secure checkout process. And then you will be instantly emailed a gift certificate, which you can either print and give to a person or you can forward. You can also buy that gift certificate for yourself, of course. It includes also our booklet of our best questions that we ask so that you can be thinking about the interview in advance or share that with the, the person you're giving it to. And we give you instructions for when you're ready to reach out, we can talk to you about your vision for the project, whether it's a single interview or whether you might want to do uh, something bigger with it, like write a story or have a story written or maybe have a bigger video made. Or if you want to do a series of interviews, if there are any language, uh, someone speaks a different language or something, we can try and connect with an interviewer in our group who may be the very best fit for your project. Um, our interviewers are independent contractors. They've been through training with us. They abide by a professional code of conduct, and they come from all over the United States and even different parts of the world. Many also speak different languages. So we'll help connect you with someone that we think will be a great fit for you and your person and your project. Most interviews these days are done via uh, video conferencing technology like Zoom, and this is great because you get both video and audio, uh, and we also send you a transcript, an automated transcript after the interview, so you get 50 minutes of audio, that's 5-0 minutes of audio uh, or video. 
and or video and the transcript. We send you when the interview is done, you'll get a download link so that you can download all of the files. If you or your person happen to live nearby one of our interviewers, you may be able to schedule to have it done in person. There will be an extra charge for mileage and also the interviewer's time. So you'll need to work that extra surcharge out with your interviewer directly. We also do a lot of interviews by phone. That works great. If your person isn't comfortable with uh, video technology, no problem. Phone works great. Sometimes people will ask us how many interviews they should do. Truly a single interview can be amazing to capture a person's voice and stories. And if you're doing this as a gift, it really is a standalone. It can be wonderful. If you want to capture a full life story, a lot of people will do a package of six or even more. It's not uncommon for us to do even 12 or more interviews with somebody. It just depends on how much life really a person has lived. And you may have visions for other things with your project. I said you might want video done, like a video edited or uh, a book written or you know other, other things. You can work that out directly with your interviewer. The two of you can set up whatever the vision is and they can give you a quote on a bigger project if that's what you want. So once we've connected you and your person with the interviewer, then the job of you and the interviewer is to get uh, the, the interview set up. Now, if you've given this as a gift, <laughs> this is a heads up, you may need to do some facilitating here. Sometimes people, when they receive this as a gift, will procrastinate getting it on calendar. Now, your interviewer will be ready and willing and waiting for you to do this, but it's up to the person to get it on calendar. And if they are dragging their feet, we would ask you to please reach out to them and help try and get that going because uh, like I said your interviewer isn't going to hound them to get it done you may need to step in and, and gently encourage and and follow up to make sure that happens now sometimes on occasion a person who receives an interview might be less than enthusiastic about it maybe they feel shy they don't like the sound of their voice or maybe they uh, don't think they have a great story to tell. And this is where you and the interviewer can help encourage them, tell them how important it would be to you to have that memory of them. I, I trust me, even if they don't think they have a story to tell, they do. So we can help put them at ease. When people get it done, they will say, I can't believe how enjoyable that was. I want to do it again. Now, on very rare occasion, we have had a person uh, who receives a gift certificate who says flat out, I'm not going to do it. And this can be so heartbreaking because I know you want their story and you believe that they have something important to tell. Of course they do. But if they flat out refuse, just reach out to us within 30 days. We will refund your money. It's a difficult situation and we want you to be able to get them something that they would enjoy and just have to love them anyway and respect that they have their reasons and respect that boundary. There's not a lot you can do if that's their stance. Maybe someday in the future, they'll be ready, but not right now. And you just have to take it on their own time. We're also happy to reassign a gift certificate to someone else if you've purchased it. And maybe there's somebody else that you would like to interview. We're happy to do that as well. Also, it's important to know for everyone that the privacy of the person being interviewed is of utmost importance to us. And we abide by confidentiality and when it's given as a gift, the person who receives the gift then is the owner of it, right? You give it and you don't own it anymore. They get to decide where, when, and with whom they share it. So it's completely up to them, regardless of who paid for the interview. So I hope this overview has been helpful. Please reach out to us. There's a form on this page. We also have a customer service number. You can give us a call. Uh, just leave us a message if we don't answer. We're a small team here at the home office and we're often with clients. So just leave us a message and we'll give you a call back and we can explain the process and help get you connected. In closing, I just want to wish you all the best with your vision for capturing your, these stories. The work that you're doing is so important, and we're just grateful that you're here.